Hey guys, I'm Mark Howe, and in this episode, I'm finally gonna become a cool kid by making my own quick change tool post. Okay, so this is my existing four-way tool post. It served me well. It's got a little indexing pin for a ratchet down there. You know, overall, it does its job, just slow. Now, this is the part that I have cadded up based on Andy Lofquist's MLA23 design. Now, this is entirely my own, based on the dimensions that an Aloris tool post should be. So I have a whole bunch of this mystery metal, which seems to be almost a grade of stainless. It is magnetic, so that's going to be interesting to machine and has been interesting to machine. And basically this will work by popping a tool holder on and then having a cone push down and spread open that gap over there to engage the dovetails. And this is going to be the block out of which I make all of my quick change tool holders. Now I've got a few from when I first tried to order the thing. Tool post never came, but that's part of the fun and games. So, as you can see by the giant pile of swarf, that we're getting close to final dimension here. Well, there she is, one tool post size chunk of metal. Huh. Introducing the new DVD ROM. Compact disc, or maybe not so compact. This could be sharper, but it isn't.
All right, guys, finally time to try this out. <laughs> Alright, take two. Now we are going to be making the handle. Alright guys, so that is the handle completed. We are now only one part away. And that is it. The last part is done, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Let's get this cleaned up. Let's get it installed. Now normally with these types of tool posts, once you release the handle on the dome, this is free to both rotate and to move all over the place on your compound. So to overcome that, I've gone and made this little flanged part over here, which is a precision fit with the tool post body. That gets locked down onto my compound with this little nut that I made. It's literally just a round nut with two flats on it. So that gets locked onto the compound and then that allows the tool post to only be able to rotate to get your tool into position whenever you have the handle loose. Then you have this little cone that will split the dovetails. Now I made this out of brass and not cast iron just because it's what I had on stock. Then the custom little nut, but first my little space age chip shield. And finally my handle with its little nylon knob. What really amazes me is just how little force it takes to snug this tool post down, so a little twist and already <laughs> little twist and you can't move this a little bit further and that securely locks the dovetail okay that moved a little bit and now I can't get it off anymore so that is that all of these work quite nicely unfortunately I only have the one dovetail so I do have to index it over when I want to use the boring bar. Now, future additions, you might have noticed this little pin over here. That is, if I ever do choose to index the, uh, the tool post to the compound, then I can have a little pull-up pin with a spring detent, and that should help me index it to a few known locations on my compound. Alternatively, if you don't want to drill into your compound, which I'm thinking I might not want to do, you can space this whole assembly up, have an indexed disc on which this whole thing will ride 
with a couple pre-drilled holes so that you can have it at say whatever your compound is referenced to you can have it at straight 90 and so on but that is it guys this is the tool post build completed